Let's talk a little bit about the completion check or the completion indicator in the asset history sheet. The SAP system will automatically check your asset history sheet version to see if it is complete, meaning all asset transactions are represented in your asset history sheet and they have been assigned to a position. There's a little completion indicator. I'll show you that in a second. Now, the, the thing is, you cannot set this completion indicator. This is something that the system does for you automatically. Okay, And of course, every asset history sheet version that you create should always be complete to make sure that you have reliable reporting values. If, if you run an incomplete asset history sheet report, there's a chance that some values that have been posted to assets are not shown on your report. So that's obviously a big no-no. And um, in my experience over the last 20 years, any auditor or any good auditor that really understands asset accounting, they will not accept values from an asset history sheet report that's incomplete. Right? Also notice that when you run the report online in the header, it will indicate if that report is complete or incomplete. Also, if you print the report, same thing in the header, it will print out if this report is complete or incomplete. So there's no hiding of the fact that you might run an incomplete asset history sheet version. So let's go into the system and I'll show you how to work with that completion check functionality. So we're back at SAP, our development system. We're in transaction OA79 again. Well, we just created our own asset history sheet version. Here it is, Z001. I'm going to select this and click on details. And then notice that here are all the changes that we made. And notice that here's the history sheet completion indicator. It is not turned on and it's grayed out. So I can't I click on it and I can't set it. I can't change it. Even though I am in change mode here, this just shows you that you're not in control of this indicator the system is. The system will automatically flag your version as complete once it is complete. But apparently we're missing something. Now, you could now go through all of these individual positions and double check to see which ones have been assigned or have not been assigned, which ones are missing an X. Uh, that would be very, very tedious and there's a much better way to do that. You simply go to the menu, click on edit and then completion check. This will bring up a little pop-up box that tells you exactly what is wrong with your asset history sheet version. Notice that it shows you two transaction types right here, 770 and D75. And for these two transaction types, you see they're both assigned to history sheet group 70 right here. And for that history sheet group, notice these red fields right here. These assignments are missing. Unplanned depreciation and 6B depreciation. 6B depreciation, again, that's something we use in Germany. We don't use it in the US. Nevertheless, you still need to make an assignment for your version to be considered complete. So that means if I would run this asset history sheet version and somebody posted a transaction with transaction type 770 and posted unplanned depreciation with it, it would not show up in my report. Therefore, my report would be considered incomplete. Right? Now, I know what these two transaction types are. 770, that's a write-up, and D75, also a write-up to depreciation. If you don't know what a transaction type is supposed to do, you can simply look it up, right? That helps you decide where do you need to place these assignments. So I know exactly these are write-ups. So I'm gonna click continue. And you remember that column that we created, this other adjustment column, right? That's where I would place write-up transactions, right? They're just another adjustment that we post to assets. And therefore, I would click on this field right here, depreciation for other adjustments. So if I double click this, notice here's history sheet group 70. And if I go to the right, notice these two fields right here. They're both blank for unplanned depreciation and 6B, right? 
There's no dot in it, meaning these have not been assigned anywhere else. And there's no X in it, meaning they're not assigned here either. So yeah, these two have not been assigned. So all I have to do is make the assignment. I'm going to put an X here and another X here. And now I hit say uh, enter, all right? And now I back out and notice this. Now the history sheet completion indicator is set. That happened automatically. All I had to do is make sure that everything is assigned and then the system tells me, all right, you're good. This history sheet version now is complete. So all I want to do is click the save button and then it is ready to be used in production. Save again to configuration transport and that's it. So that shows you how you can make sure that your asset history sheet version is always complete. There's a very easy way obviously to find what's missing and make the appropriate assignments. All right.